Hello, I'm Peter Zanoni, your city manager. Two weeks ago, I presented to City Council a proposed budget for the city's new fiscal year that begins October 1. The budget is balanced. It provides property tax relief for working families, seniors, and persons with disabilities. It also eliminates fees. The budget fully funds our police and fire operations, as well as our street reconstruction programs in our neighborhoods. The budget also continues to invest in all employees, providing fair and equitable wage adjustments, as well as affordable health care. Over the past two weeks, we have conducted three community input sessions using our new, more engaging format. We have also held two workshops with the City Council on the budget. This week, we will have two additional community input sessions, one Wednesday night and a second on Thursday night. Also Thursday, we will have another workshop with the City Council. That workshop will focus on public works and streets, on animal care services, on our solid waste services, as well as our health district services. In this message, let's focus on public works and streets, as well as our animal care services. Five years ago, when I became city manager for the city of Corpus Christi, we weren't doing much to rebuild our streets. We had no public works department. We had no modern day equipment. We weren't using appropriate materials for our streets. We weren't partnering well with our local private sector contractors who also pave our streets. And we had no plan to identify when streets would get done. Over the past five years, we've changed all that. With the mayor and city council support, over the past five years, we have allocated 566 million for streets, including neighborhood, commercial, and arterial streets. And in the proposed FY25 budget, even without the street user fee, we're investing more in this budget than we have in the current year, investing 120 million in neighborhood, commercial, and arterial streets. We're rapidly paving across the city, just like we're doing here on the island, and we're ready to do more this coming year. In addition to our streets, our public works department is also managing our stormwater infrastructure. Since 2022, the city of Corpus Christi joined all other major Texas cities in having a standalone stormwater program. In our recommended FY25 budget, we continue to invest in natural creekway cleaning, in bar ditch cleaning and maintenance, in our stormwater inlet cleaning, and especially in sweeping our streets. The goals of our stormwater program is to reduce flooding and improve water quality throughout the city. It's hard to believe just five years ago, we weren't sweeping any of our streets. Now, with our Public Works stormwater operation, we're sweeping all of our city streets. In the recommended fiscal year 25 budget, we're increasing allocations so that we can sweep even more. Eventually, we will be sweeping our neighborhood streets four times a year and all of our arterials and collectors once a month. Making our roadways safe is equally important in our Public Works Department. In fiscal year 25, we recommend level funding for our traffic control operations. It helps to fund initiatives such as Vision Zero, which aims to protect pedestrian safety. Last year, we installed the safety feature here on South Staples, a mid-block crossing, so that students and parents alike can safely navigate across a five-lane busy roadway. It is highly visible and accessible and lighted, and provides great safety for the students and parents who use Ray High School. As you can see, this mid-block crossing is heavily used, and it is a great way of keeping our pedestrians safe. In addition to streets and public works, this Thursday at the City Council Workshop, we'll also be talking about solid waste services and our health district. Also, we'll be talking about animal care services. I'm here now at Animal Care Services, the headquarters of Animal Care Services on Holly Road. Five years ago, our Animal Care Services was a unit in our police department. For a city this size and with the pet population that we have, we felt it best for animal care services to be a standalone department with a director, an assistant director, and 55 teammates to serve Corpus Christi. For the past several months, we have had a firm study our animal care operations. They are looking at our field services, our investigative units, our care here at the animal care facility to include our microchipping, our fostering, and our adoption programs. The draft report will be out soon, and later this fall, we will review that with the City Council. What the report tells us is something we're already working on today, 
which is improving our operations here at Animal Care Services. That includes better operational procedures and a community-wide conversation on responsible pet ownership. In the fiscal year 25 budget, we're keeping funding level for animal care services, with the exception of unfunding two vacant kennel technicians, leaving 11. We're also continuing $250,000 in funding for free and low-cost spay-neuter surgeries through our partner agencies for the community. Intake is high here at Animal Care Services. We're doing more with our rescue partners to help adopt out animals, but we need the entire community to help us. Later this fall, we're gonna to begin to have more conversations with the community on responsible pet ownership. In closing, I wanna thank our dedicated public works and animal care services employees. They are making a tremendous difference in our community. Now, the budget is not done yet. City Council is still seeking input from the community and during their budget workshops with city staff. We encourage you to participate in either the budget input sessions or come see us at our workshops with the City Council. I hope to see you there.